Well, growing up in Illinois, I always heard about how bad the situation was in East St. Louis. Everyone seemed hopeless. And a few years ago, I met Shane Fast, who had moved his family into this beautiful but under-resourced city. And he began this ministry called Rebirth East St. Louis in 2008, a ministry with one mission, to transform youth in one of the most broken cities in the United States. So this is Collinsville Avenue, which is a, the, the main drag, the, the downtown spot of East St. Louis. So in downtown East St. Louis in the early 1900s, if we were to walk down this street, we might hear 20 plus different languages spoken, which is amazing considering that the situation is in today where this was a thriving downtown area. But generational sin after generational sin has produced a situation where when we came in in 2008, the poverty level was, was through the roof. The, the crime rate had been the highest per capita in the country for 20 plus years running. And it was just a greater sense of despair than there was a sense of hope. Though a lot of people in a city like East St. Louis had integrity and, and, and were working for the good of the city, uh, a lot of times there was just there were just a lot of obstacles working against those efforts. And it seemed that the most successful ministries in our context across the country focused on youth. 2008, I walked into high school, which we felt like was the most strategic place for us to be able to begin to impact students at that point where they were making decisions about their lives and forming, making decisions that would form their futures. So I walked into the school, trying to be really covert, get back and meet meet the head head football coach, and just kind of sneak in and see if I could just be in, get in as a volunteer. And the first person I met was a principal of the high school, and she she welcomed me with open arms. She made a way for us to be a part of the athletic program. We were able to begin hosting Bible studies after, after weightlifting sessions. And so literally we go around school and in whatever way we can get into a space to host a Bible study where we were able to share the gospel with, with 15 or, or 30 young men on any given day, a couple days a week. And what we began to see was that God was, was moving in their lives and he was moving in the lives of, of young men who had never heard the truth of the gospel and never been exposed to the grace of God. And so what we saw was there was transformation beginning to happen. The last two years especially, as more kids have come to know the Lord, as, as, as we've been walking those kids through their trials and through the struggles of life, and, and as they've walked with us through ours, what we've seen is that, that God is honoring that, and He is growing a team of people, both a team of students and a team of staff. None of our staff team is even from the St. Louis area. Guys brought people from all across the country. They grew up in the housing project. They grew up in the most affluent parts of America to serve and love the city of East St. Louis and to invest in the cities of youth. And so what we've seen through that is we've seen God, God move in, in many kids' lives to help them come to know Him and to grow in relationship with Him. Because of your generosity, we're able to be a ministry that's about people and not programs. We run programs, we do a lot of programs, but we do them in a way that we are centered and focused on people and focused on the gospel and God making a lasting impact in a student's life to where He's captured their hearts and their minds and their souls and He's moved them toward the cross and they're swimming against the culture and toward holiness and toward godliness and toward advancing the kingdom of God and transforming the city of East St. Louis.